it has finally been released and it is here all the way from the UK and we're going to take a look at what is in the box next. Hey everyone and welcome to a What's in the Box and today it is the Ford GT Le Mans for 2017 from Ravel. We all know this kit was supposed to be released early in 2018 but unfortunately the Hobby Co bankruptcy filing pushed this kit back some and then I believe Ravel was doing some more work on the tooling making some changes or what have you and so that kind of added to the delay but it has finally been released it was released about three weeks ago in Europe and the UK we here in the US and the guys over in Asia are still waiting to get theirs but it should be here very very soon maybe by the end of the year but I'm not 100% on that as you can see in the box it says 88 parts so that means it's going to be just like the Corvette C7R kit that they did just recently. It's going to be that same style kit. More on the simplified, more molded in detail. Unfortunately, uh, metal axles. The good news is Ravel cured the uncurable and they cured the herpes of the brake rotors. So that is a good thing. So overall, it's going to be that same style uh, like the Corvette. I think this is going to have about 30 more parts than the C7R did. And out of the box, you can you have your choice of one of four of the uh, CGR cars, uh, team cars to build. And right now, no other libraries are available at this time for this kit just yet. So with that out of the way, let's crack open the box and take a look at the kit. So as you can see, the body has been molded in to pieces. Now I'm not sure what the reason why it was done, if it was a technical reason that made them do that, or if it was they had the builder in mind to make it easier for us to paint that tricolor paint job. Other way, with it being in two pieces, it's going to make us, it's going to make it, make painting that tricolor paint job so much easier. And as you can see, to get started, you can see the wiper is molded into the body, as well as, I can never remember the name of these stupid things, the Conrads or whatever they are called, they, they are molded into the bumper as well. And then, so the rest of the two-piece body, all the other majority of the detail has been molded in as well. That's kind of expected with it being a lower parts count, kind of on the sim uh, simplified kit style side. And the back half of the body. And then putting the two halves together, we get a hole. Moving right along now, we'll take a look at the chassis plate. There you can see it. The rear diffuser, diffuser is molded in as well. Take a look at the top half. There you see the front grille is also molded with it. There you can see where the uh, axles will attach to. The metal axles will go through. So it's going to make it a little difficult if the right height needs to be adjusted, which I'm not quite sure just yet. But now we're going to start taking a look at the parts trees. And there you see the first one, one of the smaller ones, various bits and including the brake rotors. So you can see you have these slots that are molted into it. There's also decals for this for the brakes as well. And hey look there is the engine block. More, um, this is going to be uh, suspension bits, or who knows what kind of bits these are going to be, but they're going to be for something. Moving right along to the next parts tree bag, and this one's going to have, it looks like it's going to have the dashboard, the seat, the rear wing, and a couple of roll bar bits. Take a look at the dash, see how it, the detail is on it. Let's 
I gotta get my seat. And and moving right along. More of the interior pieces or make up the chassis pieces, if you will. And some more interior bit steering wheel. Take a fuel cell piece, maybe. Not quite sure. There you go. Next, the next part street. We'll take a look at the wheels there. And the last of the uh, parts trees. Uh, here we have the interior bucket. As you can see, there is all some of the molded in, a lot of the molded in detail there on the floorboard. Take a look at the rest of the parts on this tree. Now we'll take a look at the clear parts. We'll start with the big clear parts tree that has exactly four parts on it. We have the uh, headlight covers down here. And over here will be what will be, I guess, the, uh, project, the projector beams, clear parts there. Moving right along, all the uh, windows, which have all been uh, pre-painted for our pleasure, which makes me very happy. I like the I like that Ravel is doing this even on the on the full detail kits. Very happy with this. I hope Ravel keeps moving forward and doing this with under the new ownership. So there are the windows, and last but not least, the tail lights. We'll turn our attention to the tires. Not the best tires in the kit I've ever seen. Uh, they look kind of bad. Definitely going to need a sanding um, on them. Definitely going to definitely gonna need a, the tread is going to need to be sanded. Uh, this one's having some issues. It's, Those are the rears, we'll take a look at the fronts. And last but not least, before we get to the decal sheet, the metal axles. And finally, the decal sheet. And we'll take a look at that. And as you can see, it is a pretty comprehensive and full sheet of decals. There are about a hundred and a little over 140 decals on there. So if you like decals, you're going to be in heaven. you got plenty to apply. As you can see, you also have your four, your four team choices, your car, team car choices, the four, uh, 66, 67, 68, and 69. And this is a full, full decal sheet. You do have the tire manufacturer decals. Uh, obviously, Michelin does like to play ball with Ravel, unlike Goodyear. And down here, these are going to be the decals for the brakes that I mentioned earlier. Decals 130 and 131, those will go on the brakes. Or you can use a wash and not use the decals if you're good at doing washes and what have you. So let's take a look at the rest of the decal sheet, shall we? There's a lot of good stuff on here. I have to admit for a kit decal sheet, it is um, pretty impressive. The colors look good. I mean, yeah, it's not cartograph quality, but uh, I think Ravel has been getting better with their decals uh, the last few years. Their decal sheets have been improving some. So we're going to wrap things up now for the Ford GT. A couple of things I want to make note of real quick. Currently, uh, the paint for the paint jobs you're going to need for the paint job. You're going to need Ford Competition Red, Ford Competition Blue, and I think it's Frozen White or Ice White or. I think it's frozen white for the red, white, and blue paint job for the 2016, 2017 years uh, to go with the kit decals. Right now, currently, both zero paints and splash paints and Gravity Euro Europe, the European version of Gravity paints, all uh, are they all offered in as you know in Lama packaging, if you will. 
I'm working with uh, James and his scale finishes on doing a package himself. I just uh, brought it up to him last night, so I haven't heard back from him yet if he's going to move forward with it. But I'm confident that he will he will move forward and, and do a um, paint package as well. And I will pass that information along to you if you are a scale finish paint user and you're going to paint this kit, I will pass that information along so you can uh, get the paint from him. So there you have it folks, the Ford GT 2017 Le Mans from Ravel. On that note, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.